I look, many of y'all confused about the whole process with the passport thing, but I'm gonna explain something about getting arrested. Can a non-citizen national get arrested if it has nothing to do with an injured party? Yes. Now I'm gonna tell you how a lot of us get arrested, even though we are non-citizen nationals and our passport you know, says do not detain or do not arrest. What the police does is once they come in contact with one of us, they not only do they check your passport, if you're driving a vehicle and that vehicle has a VIN number that's tied to you, and that VIN number also have your previous address or your address where you're currently at, then that will subject you to the jurisdiction and they can gain jurisdiction by using that. Another way they gain jurisdiction is they try to ask you for a mailing address. So the police come to you and say, well, you know, we need uh, a mailing address so we can send you corresponding mail. Don't put in care of just telling you live in the United States of America Republic. Because if you say in care of and you put an actual address, that would give them jurisdiction to arrest you. Um, another thing, if you have any licenses, any drive, I mean, any driver's license, any IDs in any state, you want to make sure you get those surrendered, not uh, an expired license or anything like that. You want to surrender it because uh, an expired license steals like it's still in the state database. So you want to make sure everything wiped off. Um, another thing. If you have a business or LLC in the state, make sure that the LLC is under a PO box and also make sure if they do ask for the physical business address, you say rural free area. Even though the state have ownership of the corporation, they will not get jurisdiction over you because you not you you didn't give it like a, a real address. You didn't, you know, you outside of that jurisdiction. Another thing, business licenses or CDLs the same thing applies. Make sure it says rural free area because anything that link you back to an address gives the police in the court's jurisdiction. So that's one secret that a lot of people is not explaining. Anytime your address on any government file in any state, they can gain jurisdiction by finding those things. So make sure your name and your address is cleared of all those things and give me a contact if you don't understand this whole process.